Welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new, you're welcome. I'm a bit of a walkabout again. The great my great mucker. Uh, Kato. Uh, let's put him on the lead now. Oh, so then put him off the lead. Okay. So on my walkabout with uh, Kato and a lovely evening, beautiful summer's evening. And um just I'll go for a bit of a walk and uh, a wee chat to you of the Scottish, the Scottish, my Scottish accent this time, you know, ah, my Billy Connolly, <laughs> my Billy Connolly accent, you know, ah, ah, going to have a Scottish evening with Billy Connolly, get on, get on, oh, oh, oh god, what was that, bird, scared me, a bit of a walk about with my mucker, Kato, um, just got to uh, have a walk, with me tonight. Beautiful evening, sun's going down. And these special late August, September, September times, oh, I'm always doing his stuff. Oh, oh, very good, very good, Kato. Very, very good timing there, very good timing. As you may be aware of my previous video, we've had uh, an update, a letter from our great friends, the BBZ, another bullshit letter basically telling me that um, I need to buy a licence and pay for a licence and I'm getting, I'm under investigation like a criminal uh, guilty till proven innocent you know um, that's what that's what it is that, that you're guilty with the BBC then you've got to prove yourself innocent to them you're guilty it's the other way around and most people are innocent to prove them guilty not with the BBC folks they have it all twisted round like they that's how they work that's how they roll as they say, twisted, employing a person like Hugh Edwards, keeping him on, and uh, you know, that kind of stuff, backing all the uh, paedophiles and people who work there who've been doing bad things and stuff, they, they, they stick together and close the ranks when any meet be me and you was sacked him down the road. Excellent timing, Kato. Anyway, come on, keep going, mate, keep going. You know the walk by now. Uh, yeah, I've been down here several times with you. These walkabouts, obviously, it's coming near me, mum and dad's, where they live, and I've been uh, complimenting them today. Hence why I'm doing the video, because I've been too good. And had some one or two things to sort out. So, um, unfortunately, we're just having a wonder, having a chat here. And um, just having a... We wonder, I can see with Billy Connolly. Ah, Billy Connolly. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hmm. Right, it's not there. Hmm, there were some lovely horses here the other day, and uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. Unless they're going to do something, I don't know. Anyway, come on, Kato, come on down, the, down to the. Hello folks, anyway, I'm out walk about and of course what a day today, two beautiful horses in this stables place and uh, lovely horses, which I love horses, they're the great animals and uh, uh, this stable is, uh, who is he, just down the road from where my mum and dad have lived and uh, beautiful horses, absolutely, uh, it looks like this is um, a foal that's a foal, I think, young horse, and uh, that could be um, his mother or what, I don't know, because he does, this, this riding school here um, does a lot of work with horses um, to bring them up to standard, to get them out to big up for a saddle. They might not have been a saddle on his back yet. So I can give him a bit of grass and he might come over to me. Oi! Come on! 
I know they like fresh grass, but uh, as I said, it's lovely to see some horses. Um, lovely to see them and uh, having a good munch about having his breakfast or something, whatever. Horses are horses. Let's get a bit of grass for him. Come on. I normally bring some carrots. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How are you doing? How are you doing? He's coming over. He's coming over. How are you doing? You gotta watch it don't bite. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You gotta watch it don't bite because one of these horses used to bite me. Yeah. Used to bite me. Used to bite me. He used to bite. He used to bite one of these horses, didn't you? I remember, he used to bite. I've got to be careful. So how you doing, mate? How you doing? Lovely horse, lovely horse. Good boy, good boy. He's a boy, I'm not sure. How you doing? And I can just give him a very sensitive horse. Come here, come on, come on. Can't really get to him on the fence. Good boy, good boy. It's a beautiful animal, beautiful, what a beautiful animal. And they're pretty scared, but he's very timid, this one. Uh, sometimes you get different characters with horses. Of course, how you doing, mate? Is that enough now? Is that enough? I think it's a female, yeah. It's a female horse, so he's obviously with his foal. Lovely, placid ones, these are very, very placid horses, so. Looks like, um, got some two, two mates. Lovely, and it's a lovely uh, thing to see. Beautiful horses, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Down to the horses, down to the horses. Come on, good boy. In front, in front. Come on, in front. So I say, folks, um, what is the next step with the channel? Like I said, because all I'm hoping that I get more and more people subscribed to the channel, get to know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, is because. This way, this is going with the BBC. The charter runs out in a few years' time, two or three years' time, 2027. And of course, they have to, the minds, they have to make up the minds what they're doing, the BBC. Because by then, in three years' time, if I can influence a few people, one or two people, not everybody, I don't want everybody to, you know, it's up to you, it's your choice whether you want to become license free. It's up to you, folks. But. If, if it happens that you are considering becoming license free and legally license free, that means you're not breaking any laws, then there's no reason why you shouldn't do it. And like I say, if, if, if say two million people, sorry about that sun there, God, it's bright that sun. So two million people, two or three million people, you know, become license free, two or three million in one year, the BBC will be having kittens. They will have kittens, believe you me. So that's the way things can go in the next two or three years. They'll realise that people are not paying anymore. They've got their own commercial side of it. They've got the commercial, they've got BBC Studios. They're selling stuff abroad, they're selling stuff. They're still making money, you know, but because they're so greedy and everything else and waste your money like they do giving Capita £500 million pound to collect the non-payments or try and collect the non-payments and sending out letters which cost £150 million pound each year but they don't care because it's your money folks they're spending your money it's not anybody else's it's just licensed payers money and it's not costing them anything they still get the full wage rises they get good pay rises every year 12-15% maybe 20% in some cases you know they get a good cut every time because it's you are paying them like Gary £4,000 an hour they don't care it's us mugs well not me it's mugs people paying that kind of money £200 for a license which should have been now £200 and they spend it like water wasted go on keep going Keto as I said it's slowly you know slowing down all the time now because of his arthritis but I take him at his own pace, that's that's the main thing. He enjoys it, having a mooch. He, he goes at his own pace and he's fine with that, you know. Don't rush him, let him have a mooch. Don't you, Kato? You're happy with that? Yeah. You've got to watch what he's eating because he's never stopped loving eating, do you? All the time. He'll eat, eat and eat and eat. 
but that's the main thing. Gotta be keep, keep your eye on him. Keep your eye on him all the time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Stuan. In front, in front, keep going, keep going, keep going. All he wants to do is eat. A machine to eat. That's all he is. A machine. An eating machine. He's looking now for something to eat. All the time, aren't you? Aren't you, mate? Looking for something to eat. But, <laughs> but anyway, he's a. Uh, He's, he's my best mate, so we have to make allowances that won't we, mate? Won't we? We have to make allowances for you while you're, he's 84 years old now. And when he's slowing down now, I'll just give him a few more minutes to get accustomed to the. Come on, be careful what you're eating. Come on, stop it now. Be a good boy, stop it now, stop it. Good boy, come on, that's a good boy. Come on, off you go, good boy. Say hello to the camera, all your friends in America. Americans love you, don't they? I want to be come on, come on in front, come on in front now, good boy, good boy. All your friends in America, say hello. Oops, don't jump up, don't jump up. Anyway, folks, he's having some injections later on this week for his arthritis, and he, he'll be hopefully a lot better this, this month again. And uh, he'll be fine. Carry on, carry on. Keep going, babe. Keep going, keep going. So it's documented here. Like I say, it's all documented here what happens next and what will happen next. They might get a visit, you know, and it doesn't say in the letter that you're going to get a visit. Last time the letter was dated, are you going to be in on the 25th? Well, I wasn't because I was on holiday. I wasn't going to be in anyway. It makes no difference. Of course, I was busy doing things. So it wasn't, you know, they never turned up anyway. They never, they never been to my place. But you see, that's, that's the with the BBC you see folks they give you this false kind of thinking that you're going to be terrified of them coming knocking and prosecuting you getting a thousand pound fine so they make you have some kind of fear of them and of course it's documented here for you you don't need to fear them at all and, and this is for anybody new I mean there's a lot of people who've done the same as me like said the great channel like Chili John there who's coming up to 100,000 subscribers now Please subscribe to his channel. You know he's done a great job over the years to make people more aware, not just me, a lot of other people, but and people who have contacted me with, with the messages. Thanks for all all the thumbs up and messages, because some people have been doing it for ten years, and they've, they've still got the same thing. They're, they're more experienced than me about it. You know, uh, they don't they don't they just try to scare you. They're like a disgat dis. There was that German word, the Gestapo. German Gestapo. Gestapo. They like that, folks. They just try and intimidate people, either to make you pay up or make you fear them, like they did many years with the detective on. So that's what it's about. And once you know that this, it doesn't bother you anymore because they, and they, of course, they're so stupid, they don't realise. They think the public are not wise to this, you know, they scare you, you know, all they're trying to scare people. And of course, once it's happened to you, you know, you get through it, get become license free like Inspector C, that that fear of gonna get, oh, they come knocking on my door. If they do, you know what to say, which is of course, no thank you, don't require a license here, goodbye and shut your door, and don't sign nothing, don't say anything. What have you got to fear? Nothing. And of course, if you're playing a straight bat, you don't need to worry because I've got no evidence for you. If you, you are watching, that's up to you. I, I don't condone that. I don't watch anything anything by BBC. It doesn't interest me. I've got other things to do in my life. So if you know that, they can't get any evidence to prosecute you. So you know you whatever they try and do to you, intimidate you, it's not going to work, folks. So I hope everybody here who tunes into my channel, I'm only a, I'm only a small channel, I'm not a big guy, you know, Chili John's great, he's got nearly 100,000 subscribers. And like I say, it's all there for you, Chili, Chili's channel there. It's all there for you, he's just a great guy. And he's, he's done, done wonders for the community of BBC legally licensed free. That's what it's about, folks. Yeah, it's a lovely sunny evening, but I'm just in the shade with the dog. Because obviously it's um, still quite warmish, but uh, he likes the shade and likes the coolness of his, uh, his place. And uh, I've, like I say, I've been out today all day. Father, we are too good. I'm very tired and I'm sleeping a lot, and uh, like I say, I had to help them out today.
But like I said, the BBC license letter there for you folks. I'm just going to put it there for you. I don't really have to explain it to you. It's there to, to read. I'll put it in the, in the thing there. But it's basically a letter saying the usual thing. The usual thing being that you need to have a license. At your premises, it's unlicensed. Sorry, it's unlicensed. Um, well, it is unlicensed because you know why. Because I was explained to you before, I don't need a license. So the premises is unlicensed. Yes, they're correct in that we're being. It's unlicensed because we don't need a license. At our house, we don't need one. We don't watch BBC television. Don't watch live television. You know. So you know. If they come knocking on my door with an extra letter, the next one will probably be a red one. A final countdown, final warning, more or less. You know, I've been through this so many times that the next one will be the final countdown, folks. The final countdown. So folks, thanks again to all the people who subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for all the new comments and stuff. And I uh, hope it's been a help to somebody, you know, who's thinking about becoming licensed free like Inspector C. That's what it's all about, folks. And uh, like I say, thanks for everybody. Um, I think I've got about 20 people this week. Which is, you know, you've got a small channel, you get 20 subscribers. It's great, you know. It, you feel like you're doing some good, hopefully, and um, it's great to see and the messages and stuff and things, things, comments, you know, things not always, you know, perfect comments, you know, you can say what you like, it's, you're free to say what you want today, I'm a big boy now, I can take good and bad comments, so uh, thanks again everybody, for everybody who subscribed to the channel, it means a lot to me, and I'll see you on the next one, bye for now, of course, oh, remember, you'll see me we want to and Andy the cabby live on Sunday nights if he's still doing it. I know he's busy with holiday stuff um, you know he's busy with his cab business and stuff so Sunday summer times is uh, very busy but I'll always be on Andy's live shows and uh, you can find me there I'll be in I'll be in the comment section so if anybody's there I'll see you there because Andy's a great guy and he's on nearly 100,000 not far off and it's a live show so I'll be there maybe someday with him on a live show sometime and of course Russ other friends Russ all the best Russ and of course I'll maybe see him sometime so anyway folks thanks again and I'll see you again on the next one bye for now